math. I, I can't believe they even I hate, hate math. It's I boring. hate math. It's so it's so weird and I I, hate I don't like it. Hi, I'm Dr. McDuff, or as the students say, Dr. Dots. Negative comments about math are echoed in the classrooms across the country. But with SIM, students' attitudes are changing. SIM provides a different approach to learning mathematics. I'm not talking about the new math. That didn't work. This does. We no longer just teach the mathematics. We teach the students how to learn the mathematics. SIM provides students with the tools to think with and with the languages to represent their thinking. Let me give you an example. How would we describe this mathematically? There are three groups of two dots. Notice that the three refers to the number of groups and the two refers to the number of dots within the group. St students often get lost and frustrated because they do not notice the difference between groups and dots. They didn't have a language to decode the problem, not until SIM. But enough of me. Let's hear from the little experts. My name is Christian. You um, I have a twin brother and he used to be better than me at everything. But once the dots program came, it all changed. You don't have to count with your fingers. There's a T dot that stands for 10, a K dot that stands for 1,000, and an H dot that stands for 100. I taught that to my brother and he doesn't, he teaches it to his friends. It, it's easier for me to do multiplication, multiple outcomes, division, and the arrays. I feel good because I'm better than him at math now. In the beginning of the year, before Mr. Arnold knew the dots, I still didn't like math. Now Mr. Arnold knows the dots and I love math. I know algebra, multiplication, division, and all sorts of math with dots. Last year in second grade, Ms. Pierce's class, math was extremely difficult. I always got bad grades on my report card. But now that I'm in Ms. Arnold's class and we do the dots, it, it got way easier. I, d I get way better grades on my report card now. And it helped me on my aims because last year on my test, I didn't do too well. The dots helped me a lot. The foods are a fancy form of one. You put the same number of dots or groups on the top or bottom and it equals one. When I was in second grade, I could not do very much math. It was hard and boring. I would always have to go to my teacher for help or sit out. But when I went to third grade and I learned the DOTS program, it was easy and fun. I could do a lot. I could do algebra, multiplication, division, arrays, multiple outcomes, and all those other kind of math stuff that you could do with DOTS. The DOTS helped me on my AIMS test, my math test, even when we're just doing a project. I feel ready to go to fourth grade, and I feel true about myself, and I feel like I'm going to get A's and all E's on my report card. Hi, my name's Ava, and I will be speaking to you about equivalent fractions. My fraction I did was 1 over 4, which equals 1 dot over 4 dots, which equals 1 group over 4 groups, with 2 dots in each of them, which will equal 2 over 8 which will equal one group over four groups with three dots in each, which equals three over 12, which equals one group over four groups with five dots in each, which equals five over 20, which equals one group over four groups with six dots in each, which equals six over 24, which equals one group over four group and four dots in each, which equals four over 16, which equals one group of four groups with a K dot in each, which equals 1,000 over 4,000, which equals one group over four groups with a 100 dot in each, which equals 100 over 400, which equals one group over four groups with a T dot in each, which equals 10 over 40, which equals one group over four groups with two T dots in each, which equals 20 over 80, which equals one group over four groups with seven dots in each, which equals seven over 28. And the T dots, they stand for 10, 
the hundred dots, they stand for a hundred. And the K dots, they stand for a thousand. And it's easier so you don't have to draw out ten dots all the time. And you don't have to draw out a thousand dots and you don't have to draw out a hundred dots. I hope you enjoyed learning about equivalent fractions. I enjoy teaching you guys. The children enjoy math. Just can't wait till it's time to do math. When we took our Ames test, when it was the math time, and I passed out the math test, I kind of went, <sighs> big sigh of relief, no stress whatsoever. When it was math time to do math, just really enjoy it. That's the major difference, is that the attitude about math has changed dramatically. Do you see a difference in test scores already? Yes. The difference in test scores from the first quarter, I did not do the dots. I hadn't taken the dot class. And my class was relatively low. And I worked really, really hard trying to bring their scores up. And we still had low scores. When I started doing the dots, everything became easier. Teaching became fun. The kids were having fun. And the scores just naturally went way up. Tell me about the dots. The dots have been really fun for me because last year in math it was very difficult and I didn't do too well. So now that I'm doing the dots, it's way easier and I can do math way um, better now. What makes it easier? The dot diagrams and the because um, when I want to do a times thing and I don't know it, I just I for instance three times three, which I know that, but if I don't, I can just draw three groups with three dots in each, and then I count the, the dots up and I know it's nine. Tell me about the dots. Why is it so much fun? Because it helps me um, with lots of things like um, like like I was if I was doing a math test and. All of a sudden, I forgot some of my multiplication, like the nines. I got stuck on nine times seven. And so I could find a blank piece of paper and draw a dot diagram and figure it out. And that helped me, and I could, I could get A's on my aims and tests. And it really, really, really helps me, and it's very fun. That's why I like the dots. Why is the dot so much more fun to do math this way? Um, because... When I, like all my other teachers, they would never do math like fun in a fun way. They would always just give us a piece of paper and we would just have to work it out. We wouldn't get any help. We couldn't ask them for help. It'd be a silent time. But when I learned the DOTS program in third grade, it became so much more fun because I could come up with different ideas. I can make a fun game out of it. I could do guess the how many dots are in that circle game with it and I love that game and so it's actually more fun for me because I get to have and I get to be in a group or I get to do it by myself and I get to enjoy it and I have lots of games for it and the dots program is a really really fun program. How about you? Why do you like it? Because it's more easier for me instead of like counting with my fingers and it's and you can't you don't have lots of fingers to count like twenty dots or something. And um the dots like helps me in so many different ways and it's so fun. So is math like your favorite subject now? Yes. yes.